YouTube, it's your boy Black with Chop 3 Long Face, Skinny Body, and we back still black with some more fire boards on anime manga content. Now, if you're gonna video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, share the video with your friends, and let's hop right into the business. Yes, sir. Ski. Uh, prominent things that occurred in Boruto chapter 69 that happened aside from all of the crazy shit that's been going down is we see the long awaited Kawaki's reunion with Naruto prior to him offing this nigga Boruto and shit like that. Kawaki coming to find out, and that's something that I will admit I generally overlook like the fact that Kawaki doesn't know the whole time he was knocked out that Boruto managed to survive the same way we know Boruto managed to survive and is alive and well. All thanks to the whole mishap with him and Momoshiki. Now, attention to the dialogue between Kawaki and Naruto. Yes, Naruto was about to get ready to tell this nigga Kawaki something very important. He got interrupted at the best moment, but he got interrupted for some shit that's like, that's already been heating up, that's already been reaching this climactic point. So, in this little side, you know what I'm saying, this little side plot where we have between Naruto, Kawaki, Boruto, and basically the whole damn village, we even see as repercussions with uh, Boruto and Sasuke having conversations about like, you know what I'm saying, niggas already don't fuck with Kawaki. Sasuke is looking at the situation, he's like, been there, done that, and he's looking at Boruto, he's like, damn, bro, if I just let this shit be how it is, he's gonna basically be turned into like a Naruto 2.0 in a sense like he's gonna be chasing Kawaki all his life and the shit that you know what I'm saying that Sasuke calls Naruto in the terms of damn near going against the whole entire ninja world in the regards of like nah nigga I'm bringing this nigga Sasuke back to the village he understands Boruto will be willing to go that far in the sense that like nah I told Kawaki to kill me so if y'all got problem with Kawaki I got problem with me so Sasuke could see that all of that shit in Boruto eyes now Kawaki coming to find out from Naruto words you gotta have to pay attention how Naruto was able to tell him basically saying he was revived with the karma. The most interesting thing that happened, obviously, upon Naruto's um, dismissal, when Kawaki looked at his karma and then all of a sudden his dojutsu activated with one of the triangles in his eye being visible. Aside from that, right, explain the situation to Kawaki, he says in a very, I don't wanna say a vague way, but basically a vague way in a sense where Kawaki is not going to come to the own conclusion, well, oh, Momoshiki can no longer be resurrected through Boruto, that's no longer a threat as the term of like Momoshiki and Boruto are now sharing a body where it's like Boruto is in complete control and the threat of Momoshiki possibly taking over Boruto's consciousness may linger but there is no way, any way, shape or form for Momoshiki to come back to life in this world. He did not make that clear to Kawaki, right? So a lot of people can look at the situation where it's Kawaki's turning on his dojutsu in the sense like, damn. I need to off this nigga board. So like Momoshiki's up to something, you know? He doesn't really have the full story. He doesn't really understand, well, in sense of Momoshiki reviving Boruto, turning Boruto 100% on Suzuki, using the rest of the data from the karma basically keeps Boruto's consciousness, keeps his existence intact, and prevents Momoshiki permanently from ever taking over Boruto's body. However, Momoshiki's soul will reside within Boruto's body. So basically Boruto is one body with two souls inside of that shit. In a way, Kawaki doesn't understand that now Naruto was able to tell Kawaki Boruto survived because of the powers of his karma. That's all he knows and now he understands, okay, Boruto does have a karma. Now we can look at this in a sense, is his karma in a way slightly resonating with Boruto? As you know, Boruto and Sasuke are currently on the move into the situation and Naruto had the same call from Ino that Sasuke had got. So Naruto is on that move. So in a way, Boruto is probably, you know, linking with Kawaki because we know many, many chapters back, Kawaki was out of sight, you know what I'm saying? Out of mind, out of sight, like real, real life out of sight. Boruto was still able to sense his presence in the fact that, that they're both Osusukis and you know what I'm saying, the resonations that's been going on throughout all of this time with their karma seals. At that time, you know, prior to understanding Kawaki still had the karma seal, but we still knew that his body was 80% Otsutsuki as well with Boruto. Now Boruto being 100% Otsutsuki and Kawaki still remaining at 80 or 82% Otsutsuki. However, we see Kawaki having full access to his karma seal, you know what I'm saying? And obviously in turn with Boruto now being 100% Otsutsuki, more than likely having full access to his karma seal. So 
Kawaki doesn't have all of the information. We already understand there is a po potential fallout coming between both Boruto and Kawaki. Now, we have been so sucked up into the story, Pauls, that we've been reaching points and, and turning basically turning points in the story and turning checkpoints where we have to understand and sit back and realize, okay, there's going to be a point in time where wherever the place that Kawaki sent Lord Seven sent Naruto, that's going to have to go down. That's going to have to be an outcome. And Boruto is going to have to be in a position where he's questioning Kawaki. Was this really the only outcome? Now, I don't believe we are that far in a drastic point where Kawaki is completely on some shit like, yeah, fuck all of you guys. Boruto has to go. Now, if that's the case, it will be heavily, heavily, heavily influenced due to the fact that he now has this karma seal, which a lot of people are starting to notice like, okay, is Kawaki a reverting back to his old ways or b being completely changed into a cold-blooded killer on some shit like i don't give a fuck about nothing if it's not naruto you feel me i don't even give a fuck about your own son unless it's me you feel me so kawaki has been under the hot seat for a little minute with these last few chapters in a way that he's been going through drastic measures but not in a drastic sense meaning this is just regular to him being like yo naruto move out the way i need to kill your son like expecting naruto to understand that he's doing this for his own good which is in a sense naruto understands that part but at the same time it's like nigga you're killing my son for my own good you feel me so when naruto is leaving the hospital and we see Kawaki, his dojo is activated his karma still is activated that should tell us like a lot that should tell us Really, it's just leaving the door open for basically what the fuck is going to happen with this nigga Kawaki. Next chapter, we already know Boruto is going to be on the scene. Kawaki knows something up with Naruto because they were in such a drastic, drastic conversation. And he's been living with Naruto for a damn near a year now. It's been a year because we know after the Ishiki battle, uh, Amado and Shikamaru had that conversation way before this whole code shit was going down. Amado stated it's been six months since things has been settled down. So damn near a year, Kawaki has been living with this nigga. So Kawaki is put in a very tough position when you look at it like that because now it's like, well, it all depends on basically the response that Naruto gives Kawaki in the sense of, I killed your son. Yes, I killed your son for your own sake. And on top of that, if it wasn't for me, everybody probably would have been dead. And Naruto did acknowledge that fact, but he still had to basically let Kawaki know. Like Sasuke said it to Boruto. So regardless of the situation, you killed the Hokage's son. People are going to run with that whichever way they will. So that's something Kawaki is going to have to understand. So ultimately leading into Kawaki's whole ambitions and thoughts of like, nah, this whole ninja system is fucked up from the core. So maybe this can be the trigger aside from just him being all, all determined like, yeah, this nigga Momoshiki is plotting something. I need to off this nigga Boruto again and this time for good. Like blast his shit and then blast his shit again and then blast his shit one more time <laughs> just to make sure we Gucci. But also aside from like a Naruto and Kawaki confrontation and then Naruto continue, continuing this conversation with Kawaki, Kawaki is going to have to confront Boruto sooner or later, and they're going to have to basically have a heart-to-heart, -heart, you know, I'll say no pun intended because Boruto is a damn near punctured, but have a heart-to-heart and -heart basically going forward in the scenes. But let me know what your thoughts below. As per the events of chapter 69, how do y'all feel Kawaki will be going about? We see his dojutsu activated at the end of the chapter once Naruto is basically leaving to the battle scene. Do y'all believe Kawaki will be joining the battle scene as well? Do y'all believe Kawaki is probably, you know what I'm saying, sensing or reacting to the fighting going down? Saying like he's going to be going, making his way towards Ada and Cole and them and basically fighting them? Or is he basically in an un unconscious way sensing Boruto's presence and understanding oh shit this nigga Boruto does still have the karma still and he's coming into a slow but surely conclusion I gotta off this man Momoshiki in turn I gotta off this nigga Boruto you know what I'm saying but to my next video holla at your boy it's your boy Black with T.I. Boruto chapter 69 was fire Kabuki and Boruto I'm looking forward to the fight off everything that's been going down they done a good job of helping us not really forget but overlook the fact that these niggas are gonna be enemies real soon like we've seen in that episode one they're gonna be enemies so it's like damn fuck the whole naruto and kawaki shit it's like yeah that's that's cool but it's like damn this nigga i understand kawaki's position with naruto and like i need to protect this nigga above all else but you see the way him and boruto's bond has been built up in such a natural and organic way it's like the fallout is gonna be crazy bro it's gonna be crazy it's till my next video it's your boy black i'll let your boy i'm gonna let y'all leave your comments Thoughts below. Share the video with your friend. Black shit out. Yes, sir. Hey, can we take a trip to the sky? Show them that our limits too high. Fuck up all the hips on the wrist. She said.